Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial, iMovie tutorial. Today we're doing multiple pictures in a picture. This has been heavily requested, so let's get down to business. First thing we're going to do is go to our maps and backgrounds on the bottom left. I'm going to drop a black background onto our timeline. I'm going to stretch it out to about 10 seconds or so. And this size doesn't matter. It's up, up to what clip you're doing. Um, but for this video, we'll just do about 10 seconds. Okay. After this, we're going to go find our first picture in a picture piece of video. Anything we'll do for this tutorial. First thing I'm going to do is zero out the audio so it doesn't interfere with my project. I'm going to drag it on top of the black background here. Resize it. And then go to our picture in a picture option on the left there. And then I'm going to zero out the transition time, so there will be zero transition. Okay, so now you can move this around and put it pretty much anywhere you want. I'm going to do a four up, so two on the top, two on the bottom. I'm going to try to get as equal as possible, but, but it won't be perfect. But you'll get the gist of the tutorial here. Okay, so we got the top left corner. We have a black background. And everything looks to be functioning pretty good here. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to share this. Well, let me get this thing actually sized up perfectly. There we go. Okay, so we need to share this to the desktop. Ideally, you want to make this as high resolution as possible. So we're going to go share file. And I would do something like ProRes or high. So we don't lose any quality of video because we're going to be exporting and importing two or three, three times. So the higher the quality, the less chance anything's going to degradate. Okay, but for this purposes of this one, I'm going to go low to save disk space. I'm going to name it. Like I think I misnamed it here. Yeah, top. I put top right, but it's actually top left. But you, you get the idea. Name it whatever you want and save it to the desktop or anywhere that you normally save it. You can easily find it. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, fast forward this rendering so we don't have to wait for the rendering time. Okay. Okay, the video is just about finished rendering. Once it's finished rendering, we're going to go ahead and delete everything that's in the timeline here. And you can go ahead and close that notification there. Next, we're going to import that video that we just exported. The one that has the black background with the left quadrant, left top quadrant video in it. We're going to locate it in our media bin. And we're going to drag it to the timeline. Okay, next, we're going to add another 10 second chunk of video. And we're going to put it above the clip there. And we're going to actually, again, we're going to silence the audio. But it depends what you're doing with it. Maybe you want the audio, maybe you don't. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and click on it and drag the, the audio's level to zero. I'm going to go to the picture in a picture. And now you see, you can, of course, zero out that transition if you don't want it. And I definitely don't want it. Then I'm going to, oh, before I accept the changes, I'm going to resize the video and try to get it as close to as the other one as possible. But for this tutorial, it won't be perfect. I'm not going to spend much time on it here. Good enough for government, I guess you can say. Okay, then you accept the changes. And from here, once you, you know, have a look at it, make sure it's good to go. You're going to share that one to the desktop again. Okay, let's go ahead and head up to the top. Yep, looks good. I think I'm good to go, so let's go ahead and share it to file. Rename it to something that you recognize. Again, um, if I was doing this for real, I would definitely make sure the settings were as high as possible so I wouldn't have any degradation of the video clip. And again, Saving the desktop or wherever you feel comfortable, you can find it the easiest. Okay, and we gotta wait for it to render. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the clip here for us so it's a lot faster. Okay, now again, delete everything in the timeline after we close that. And we're going to import that video we just exported. So this is a rinse and repeat cycle. If you if you got the gist of it already, and you understand it. 
I would say you could stop right now. But don't forget to hit that thumbs up and share and comment. So go ahead and uh, we imported that one. We're going to select it, highlight it. We're going to drag it down into the timeline. We're going to get our next chunk of video. Another 10 second chunk. And we're going to rinse and repeat. We're going to drag it to the timeline. We're going to silence the audio if necessary. Then make sure that it's, you know, the equal length. We're going to go ahead into picture in a picture. We're going to zero out that transition. And then we're going to resize the video to the size you like. For this one, we're doing a four up, four by four kind of thing. So I'm going to try to get as close as possible. Again, it's, it's not perfect, but this is just a demo. <laughs> you know, you can spend that extra time to get it perfect if you'd like. Okay. Looking pretty good right there, except changes. And then we're gonna take a quick look. Yep, everything seems to be functioning well. And of course, because I'm recording and talking and rendering at the same time, the system's gonna be a little bit slow here. So we're gonna export this. This this is the last export. Okay. <coughs> So we're going to name it three videos, same thing, trying to keep the quality as high as possible. But for this example, we're going to do low, wait for it to do in it, doing its rendering business here, exporting business. And as soon as it's finished, we'll delete everything in the timeline again, close that notification and import the video for the last time. Okay. So we're going to import, find the video. Import it, drag it into the timeline. And then the final chunk of video that we need to put on this. Drag it just to the timeline, grab that extra chunk of video. Drag it above the clip. Mute the audio if necessary. Resize the video to kind of match the, the other one. Go to the select it, go to the picture in a picture and zero out that transition. Resize that last video. We're on the home stretch here, folks. We can do it. But basically, uh, we've done this three times, so you kind of get the gist of what's going on here. Once you get to the point where you your your project is finished you accept the changes and you're going to export it again at the highest quality possible and that, from that point on you can use that clip whatever however you design it and lay it out as maybe your outro or your intro or maybe you know you want to do like a brady bunch type thing with multiple pictures um you know use your imagination so we're going to export this out to the desktop we'll have a look at it in the quicktime player but from this point on that clip, if you want it to be, you could import it and just use it in multiple projects at the end of your projects, at the beginning of your projects, et cetera, et cetera. But this, this, all this work that we've done, this rinse and repeat cycle, basically gets around that limitation that's in iMovie, that where you can only have that one extra video on top or image on top. Okay, so that's how you do it, basically. It's pretty, pretty straightforward, it's not too bad. And again, we're sharing it out for the last time. And once we're finished here, we'll click close. We'll go ahead and close iMovie here to save some memory and some processor. And we'll have a look at that video on the desktop. I'm just going to open it up in QuickTime Player here. I'll shrink up the box a little bit. And it, there we go. It's finished. So now you know how to do basically to get around the limitation to kind of hack it around cheat around the iMovie limitation i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something don't forget hit that thumbs up subscribe of course comment and we'll talk to you next time peace and aloha